my message uh, is uh, to put uh, uh, their, their work uh, at the service of the truth uh, and also to help uh, peace and reconciliation, but also to help uh, people to understand really what is the church. How do you communicate the gospel in today's world? At the end of January, 230 journalists from 25 different countries came together to discuss this theme at the Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes. I find that the most effective gospel sharing online happens when people just share their lives. This is how I pray every day, or you know, here in Lourdes, I was just sharing with people, we got to walk right up to the rocks and touch the rocks. The occasion for this encounter was the Feast of St. Francis de Sales, patron saint of journalists. The Communications Department for the Holy See and the Federation of Catholic Media organized a series of sessions over three days, focusing on the major fault lines dividing the church and society today. The message of Pope Francis in this year, uh, focusing on the hurt, so focusing on charity, on love, is something that means a lot to our job, to see through the eyes of the earth, to see through the eyes of love. And I think this, this can be a good lesson to us. Experts spoke on the abuse crisis in the church, examining the influence of social media on Catholic journalism, how to speak of the divisions within the church with charity, and most importantly, how to share the gospel in today's increasingly secularized world. France, as ground zero for secular Europe, provides a unique test case for evangelizing in a post-Christian society. For example, we were talking about Mathieu Jasseron, who's a, a French, and he's a priest, and he's a French priest influencer on TikTok, and he's about one million audience, and like my newspaper has been on since like 1945, and it's not at that point, wow. <laughs> you know. So we have to, like, I guess, um, work work with them because they have a bigger, larger audience than we do. The way people think and act has changed radically as we have transitioned from a print-based society to an image-based society. The speed and quantity of information the average person consumes and interacts with has scaled up exponentially and the expectations of media have fundamentally changed in the digital era. What we have uh, discovered in KTO is that uh, the, the more you say uh, quietly, we are Catholics, so that's how we see the world and that's what we want to tell you, the more people who are far away from this are interested because every human being is interested of why are we here, what's the meaning of this life, why the time is so difficult now and, and can you help me? And we think we can, humbly. Uh, it's not us, it's Jesus, but we think we have something for them. The main takeaway for the journalists at Lourdes is that communication is more important now than ever, especially in the digital space. And as Cardinal Parolin reminded them, The Catholic journalist should help the general uh, public opinion to know exactly what is the church, what the church is doing, uh, and what uh, uh, contribution is given to humanity.